Section B, the question mark. What were you doing with the marshmallows on July 25th? I don't know. I told you I don't remember anything. Exactly what secrets did the marshmallows tell you? I told you I don't remember anything about any marshmallows. Can you tell me what's an interrogative sentence? Sure. Interrogative sentences ask a question, and to end an interrogative sentence like what were you doing with marshmallows on July 25th, or exactly what secrets did the marshmallows tell you, we use a question mark. The question mark. There's really nothing like it. Suppose you want to write, who put the bop in the bop she bop she bop? Since we're asking a question who, we use a big old question mark. You're probably thinking, yeah, yeah, question marks are those things that come after questions. Like, who put the bop in the bop she bop she bop? But it's not always that easy to tell whether or not a sentence is really a question. Look at the sentence, I wonder who put the bop in the bop she bop she bop. It looks like a question because the writer is looking for a piece of information. But if you look closely, you'll see that the writer isn't really asking you a question. They're simply making a statement about what they wonder about something. And for a statement like this, a plain old period will do. In fact, there's only one occasion when it's okay to use a question mark at the end of a statement. And that's when you want to show disbelief or sarcasm. So we could write, Eli Whitney put the bop in the bop she bop she bop? No, he invented the cotton gin. Since we're showing disbelief at the notion that Eli's responsible for the bop, the question mark is okay here, especially since we pointed out our disbelief in the following sentence. No, he invented the cotton gin. So question marks are great ways to end sentences if you're asking a question or showing sarcasm or disbelief. But question marks aren't just for the end of the sentence anymore. There's another neat thing we can do with question marks. Suppose we write, When Orville went on safari, did he forget his bug spray, camera, and extra underwear? Here we've got ourselves a simple, straightforward question. But if we want to put the emphasis on the items in our list, we can put a question mark after each item. That gives us, when Orville went on a safari, did he forget his bug spray, camera, extra underwear? Now we focus our attention on the things Orville should have brought without getting all wrapped up in his trip. Notice how we didn't capitalize the first letter of each of the items in the list. When you use question marks to itemize things in a list, whether or not you capitalize these little question babies is completely up to you. Make them all capital or make them all lowercase. Both are right, just be consistent.